and welcome to another in the Ask the Data Governance Coach video series. And today's question is still topical because a lot of people are still talking about data mesh and trying to get their head around what it means for their organization. And the question that I got emailed in is, what's the difference between a data owner and a data product owner? So, um, you may be aware or maybe not that I have created a lot of videos about what a data owner is, and I will share the link in the comments below this video. But I think it's best to say that, you know, data owner has been around as a term and a role for a very long time. It's a key, even critical data governance role. Um, but when we when I talk about data owners, I talk about somebody who owns a one or more data sets across the whole of the organization, wherever it is. Now, a data product owner is a, a relatively new role that's come around with this advent of product thinking being applied to data. And in this, we mean that, um, you know, a data product is created, so a set of data, and it's widely available for use around the organization. Now, it makes sense that if we're creating a particular data set that can be used and reused in multiple different ways, that we need to have some control over it. So it made perfect sense that the role of, of data product owner came into existence. But a lot of people are now getting confused if they start along the data product um, journey. Um, but they've already got data owners in place, they get a little confused about, are they the same thing? Do we need both? So in my view, yes, you need both. So data product owner is generally, in my experience, a little bit um, less senior than a data owner is in data governance terms. And a data product owner only owns that data product. They are the one who defines what that data product is, who can use it, what, what it, you know, what it can be used for. Um, however, if you think about it logically, you know, they can't take over the role of a data owner, as it has been suggested to me a number of times in the last year or so, because they're only talking about that data as it is in their particular data product. And if that data only exists in that data product, that would make perfect sense. But Normally, data is used by multiple different people in multiple different ways across an organization. And as a lot of organizations may be ad uh, adopting this data product approach, this doesn't happen overnight. So I think it's very important. We still need both roles. We need a data owner who knows what that data is and where it exists all around the organization. Um, and then you can have a data product owner who understands the um, what data is in their data product. So they're subtly different and, you know, one data set may appear in multiple data products and have multiple different data product owners. So you can see that it's really important we still have our data owner role to keep that holistic overview and make sure that um, somebody, at least one person in the organization understands uh, that data and is making holistic, consistent decisions about it. So I really hope that helps. And as I said at the beginning, we'll include some links to some of the previous videos that I've done on uh, data owners in the comments below. I hope you found that useful. If you have, please help me on my mission to help as many people as possible be successful with data governance by commenting, liking, sharing this video and your choice of social media. And if you've got a question that you'd like me to answer in a future video, just send it along to questions at nicolaascom.com.